you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 4th thursday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st john chapter 12 verses 22 32 Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks they came to Philip who was from Bethsaida in Galilee and said to him sir we wish to see Jesus Philip went and told Andrew then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus Jesus answered them the hour has come for the son of man to be glorified very truly i tell you unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies it remains just a single grain but if it dies it bears much fruit those who love their life lose it and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life whoever serves me must follow me and where i am there will my servant be also whoever serves me the father will honor now my soul is troubled and what should i say father save me from this hour no it is for this reason that i have come to this hour father glorify your name then a voice came from heaven i have glorified it and i will glorify it again the crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder others said an angel has spoken to him Jesus answered this voice has come for your sake not for mine now is the judgment of this world now the ruler of this world will be driven out and i when i am lifted up from the earth will draw all people to myself the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ today we celebrate the feast of uh, St John de Brito feast for our India John de Brito was a citizen of a powerful aristocratic portuguese family his father salvador de brito ferreira died while serving as viceroy of the portuguese colony of brazil he joined the jesuits in 1662 He traveled the, to the missions of Madurai in southern India in 1673 and preached the Christian religion in the region of uh, Sivahanga and Madurai and all. He re- renamed himself Arulananda in Tamil. The ruler of that place imprisoned him in 1684 having been expelled he returned to lisbon in 1687 and worked as a mission procurator the madurai mission was a bold attempt to establish an indian catholic church that was relatively free from european cultural domination as such birto learned the native languages went about dressed in yellow cotton and lived like a tamil sanyasi abstaining from every kind of animal food and uh, from wine saint john de brit tried to teach the catholic faith in the categories and concepts that would make sense to the people he taught this method proposed and uh, practiced by robert e nobili met with remarkable success brito remained a strict vegan until the end of his life rejecting meat fish egg and all the hall and living only on legumes fruits and herbs john de brito preaching led to the conversion of a uh, yeah, king 30th heaven in the sivaganga province who had several wives when 30th heaven was required to dismiss all his wives but one a serious problem arose One of the wives was a niece of the neighboring king. 
Sethupadi, the king of uh, Ramnat, who took up her quarrel and began a general persecution of Christians. Brito and the catechists were taken and carried to the capital Ramnat. Then he was led to Oryu, some 30 kilometers northward along the coast where he was executed on February 4th, 1693. Red Sand The seashore sightseeing location is one of the most vulnerable pilgrimage center of Christians in the world over, as it is said to be the site of John de Brito's martyrdom. It was at this place where the saint is said to have been beheaded in 1693. The sand dune here is believed to have been stained by the blood of a revered saint, Arulananda. Yes. The red sand dune here is this in this strain where the blood of the massacred saint was flown as great significance as the same as got miraculous healing power. Numerous incurable diseases are said to have cured by the application of the red sand on the respective body parts. Couples are believed to have blessed with children on visiting the shrine and praying to the departed soul. During festivities, pilgrims, mainly from Tamil Nadu and Kerala, participate irrespective of their caste, creed and religion. Thus, together with the Christians, Hindus and Muslims also come to worship at the shrine in thousands to make respect to a unique holy man who shed his life and blood at the spot. The occasions appears to be more and as a social gathering rather than a religious, religious festival. The Aspicis ceremony is a rare opportunity for these pe- simple people to bring gaiety and enthusiasm in their life. The strong faith and enviable ability to combine pleasure and righteousness on a pilgrims gives a divine atmosphere to the Oryu feast. Dear friends, in a world in which the resonating message is to have more, it is not always easy to speak and lift Jesus' message to be more. Those who do this are labeled as a crazy and out of touch with reality. John de Brito was not afraid to do this and was ready to face the consequences. He was ready because he was part of the vine to live and die as Jesus did. He stood up for the truth right to the very end. Amen. Happy Feast Day.